Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Hey, today is a it's it's a bit of a heavy heart with this video. Um, I got a sad message here on my phone. Um, the headline is three dead as marine helicopter crashes in Australia during training. Officials say. I just wanted to, you know, put it out there to everybody that you know we're we're a family and you know our our thoughts and prayers and and all of that go out to the family of those uh, three service members and you know there there was 23 in total um, in a V22 Osprey that crashed 23 service members and um, you know three passed and there's 20 there that are now going to have survivor's guilt and all the other things. Um, so wanted to read you the article here real quick. Um, you know, we can't, you know, I don't know. To me, it's important to share this information um, and, and keep these memories alive and know what happened. And, and um, you know, it's part of our brotherhood and sisterhood, right? So let's see. Here it says, again, like a subtitle, at least three Marines dead, 20 injured during military exercise. U.S. officials say a V-22 Osprey helicopter carrying 23 service members crashed in Australia. So it says here, uh, it's the beginning of it, officials say. Uh, the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey was carrying 23 service members uh, when it went down about 9.30 a.m. near, um, I don't even know how to say it, Taiwi, T-I-W-I, islands in the Northern Territory of Australia. Officials with the Marine uh, Rotational Force, uh, Darwin said in a statement, five other service members were taken to the Royal Darwin Hospital in serious condition, the statement says. The Osprey had been transporting troops as part of a routine training exercise in support of Exercise uh, Predators Run, a joint military exercise, officials say. Recovery efforts were ongoing, officials said. The cause of the crash has not yet been determined. U.S. Army officials in April had ordered a 24-hour stand-down of all aviation units following two deadly mid-air helicopter collisions within 30 days. The safety of our aviators is our top priority, and this stand-down is an important step to make certain that we're doing everything possible to prevent accidents and protect our personnel. Army Chief of Staff General James um, McConville said in a statement announcing the stand down. So that's just giving some, I guess, retrospective there. Uh, that concludes the article um, that I found. Uh, this was, again, emailed to me. Um, and um, I just wanted to share with you again, our, our thoughts are out to the families of the uh, three uh, individuals who passed away. And, um, you know, love and support to you. Um, also, uh, our hearts are out to the uh, 20 other uh, individuals in uh, in those aircraft. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead and conclude it. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.